Yo, what's good everyone? So have you ever gone back from an amazing shoot? Super excited to edit and upload your photos to Instagram, only to find out that the files look nothing like you had imagined? Well, you're not alone, because I found this shot that I took, and it looks absolutely terrible. I could have sworn it looked better on the back of the camera, but when I put it on my computer, it was dark, the colors were muddy, you could barely even make out what's going on in this shot. It looks nothing like how I had imagined when I was taking the picture. But fortunately, this photo doesn't need to be uploaded like this. Today I'm going to walk you through my Lightroom editing process and bring back some of that magic to these shots and turn those dull lifeless images into that beautiful shot you had envisioned when you were taking the picture. Let's get started. Right off the bat, you can see that this is a pretty dark photo. We can barely see the subject and it looks like the information in the shadows are lost. But as we increase the exposure, you can see that there's actually a lot of detail to be pulled out of these shadows. Now obviously we don't want our picture looking like this, so I'm going to bring down the exposure tab around here to where we want it. I normally would start with white balance, but for this specific photo, I feel like it's pretty good as is. So I'm going to move on to contrast. Now you can see there's already a nice contrast between the light and dark areas in the scene. So I'm just going to enhance it a little bit and push the contrast up slightly. In the center of the frame, you can see that the highlights are already blown out. And that's totally fine because I'm actually going to push it a bit further to give my subject this halo effect. Bringing down the shadows will give it a more moody vibe. This photo is still lacking that punch, so I'm increasing clarity, vibrance, and saturation. So I think this photo already looks so much better than it did before. And remember that the good thing about Lightroom is that you can always come back to these sliders later on and adjust them again, so it's not set in stone. The tone curve is a pretty powerful tool, and I could get really in depth in a different video. But for now, I'm just going to start with the basics. For this photo, I'm just bringing up the shadows and bring down the highlights. This smooths out the image and gives it a more even feel. The HSL and split toning tabs are where we can adjust our tones and really fine tune those colors. This is where we can recreate that vision we had from the beginning. There is this natural warm light spilling in from the end of this tunnel fading off into the cool grays and blacks as we get into the shadows. And I really like this look, so I'm going to use this to our advantage and not push against it. But the first thing I want to get rid of is this nasty greenish yellowish tint on the glass on this left side over here. So I go into my saturation tab, find the greens, and just bring that all the way down. I'll also decrease a little bit of the yellow. And you can see this got rid of that distracting green tint. I am shifting these orange tones to the redder side, adding an intensity to this light. This creates more drama in this cool futuristic space. I typically like cooler tones in my shadows. So I'm going to drag this hue slider to the blues and increase the saturation. To further complement that red orange glow, I'm going to add a bit of warmth to the highlights. Now these are really subtle changes, but it just pulls the image together nicely. After dialing in these colors, this image looks too dark overall. So I'm going back up to my exposure tab and brightening it up. Now this image looks really good. So I'm pretty much done with my global edits, but don't forget about the details. The first thing I notice is this guy's head peeking up on this left hand side. The spot removal tool can easily get rid of it. There's also a blue tint to these overhead lights that I want to get rid of. So I go back down to my saturation tab and just pull down those blues. Now you can see these lights are a bright white, which looks so much better. These are the details that I doubt anyone will notice, but it's what separates a good edit from a great one. If you made it this far, thanks so much. These videos are not easy to make, so I hope you learned something new today. I know the Lightroom editing process 
is pretty tedious and involves a lot of trial and error. That's why I created a preset that applies this look to similar images. Let me show you how it works. So first I'm going to reset this image to the defaults. Once you're in the preset panel, just hover over the one you want and Lightroom will automatically preview the preset for you. Now just click and it's applied instantly. Like all presets, this isn't a one click solution. I still have to decrease the blues in those overhead lights. So I go down to my saturation tab and lower the blues. This preset also makes the bottom of this image look too heavy. So I go back up to my basics tab and lift the shadows, letting more light into that bottom area. That was really simple and saved so much time. After all these edits, this photo looks amazing and it's ready to export and upload. So you can download that preset you just saw for free from a link in the description. If you used it on your photo, drop a comment down below because I would love to check it out. If you like this video and want to support my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. And feel free to provide any feedback or comments because I'm still learning and I want to provide valuable content for you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.